Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you are here and hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you are back, as always, welcome back. Today I am here with an unboxing from Enablers Outpost. I have this absolutely beautiful and dreamy artwork from the artist the colorful cat studio and this is called veiled in starlight i have completed a kit from enablers outpost and this particular artist before um i believe the name of it was storm blessed and it turned out beautifully if you want to see a poster view where i share about that in detail please take a look in the description box below this video but i loved it so much i knew that i wanted to keep an eye out for any other artwork from this artist at enablers outpost that caught my eye and this was a recent new release and as soon as it went live i was on the website buying it as quickly as i could so um i am going to point you to the listing for the most up-to-date information as far as what the shipping times and other details go um or goes <laughs> and i know that this one when i ordered they had said on there that it could be i think anywhere from three to eight weeks and it was somewhere in the middle of that and i really appreciate that they're upfront about that and i know what to expect Enablers Outpost is a small shop and a lot of small shops will do it this way uh, and it completely makes sense to me so I am more than happy to wait especially knowing what I'm getting into you know because uh, they communicate that up front so we're going to open this up and take a look it came in this white box with the artwork and sticker on the front and the size is going to be 55 by 50 centimeters and I love when I have the opportunity to get kits that are not enormous <laughs> I love having some well for me I guess compared to some of the kits in my stash this is not a huge size that's of course going to be subjective based on you as a diamond painter and what size kits you like to work on but Enablers Outpost has a nice variety of sizes and artwork and it's all legally licensed and I love how they are constantly looking for ways that they can be improving their product and just giving us this really really wonderful quality now one of the notes that I saw on the listing Oh, this is interesting it opens this way i don't know if it's had a kit come this way where it opens sideways like this i don't have a problem with it it's just i'm noticing oh that's different <laughs> um i noticed that on the listing for this diamond painting kit along with others they do note that in order to reduce waste because a lot of us diamond painters have more toolkits and accessories than we know what to do with they do not by default include a toolkit however you can request one i think there's a box you can check at checkout where you can say yes i want a toolkit and you will get one so let's unroll this and take a look oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty I love 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 it of course we do have a lot of solid light color background so I'm going to be ready to bust out my multi-placer for that but look at like the level of detail and that really really pretty soft watercolor vibe I feel like you can see even just from the printing on the canvas I love this now if you've been around my channel for a little bit you may very well know that I am very much drawn to soft artwork a lot of times if there's like a watercolor um, effect to it that tends to draw me in and above anything fantasy themes really call my name and so not shocking to see that a unicorn was was the one and like I said the last kit I did from them it had a dragon in it and I think is actually still available as an option on the website but let me show you what all was included with this kit I did not get a tool kit because I didn't need one but they like I said do offer the option to add one on so if you would like like one totally can do that but I know a lot of people actually really enjoy when shops offer the option to forego a toolkit because it's just a small thing that can be done to help reduce waste and stuff we're just going to toss so um we do have this this smaller sticker or this it's not a smaller it's just I guess it's it's not like a whole page I think I've seen whole page sticker sheets from them before um this is kind of a half page size you can see the original artwork here Colorful Cat Studios is the artist, and Veiled in Starlight is the name of this artwork. This kit does include shimmer drills, which are those drills that have the really fine glitter coating on the top. Now, there was one error as far as the color that was sent with this kit that Enablers Outpost did let me know ahead of time, and I'll explain that more when I get to the diamonds, but I just want you to know up front that, well, basically, they sent, um, for one of the colors, they sent an AB instead of a glitter 
glimmer. However, if this happens to you, if you order this kit and they send an AB instead of the glimmer and you really want to get that glimmer drill, which you completely are entitled to because that's what's listed on the listing, Enabler's Outpost said just contact them with your order number and they will make sure to send those glimmer drills out to you. So I love that they're offering that option to, you know, make it right. So um, like I said, this is 55 by 50 centimeters. This is legally licensed from the artist. That means the Colorful Cat Studios has both given permission for the use of this artwork by Enabler's Outpost and is being compensated as well. So I love supporting shops that are doing right by artists. And then over here, this is a, is this a sticker sheet? It says photo paper, but it feels like sticker paper to me. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, yes, it is. Okay, so this is sticker paper. Um, and we have our color list over here. Let's see, our symbols looks like mostly alphanumeric. Or actually, entirely alphanumeric. We're gonna have 29 colors in total, um, which given, you know, this is mostly whites and grays and blues, I'm not surprised to see a lower number of colors. Um, the color code you see here in the right hand column. I'm quite sure that this is the DMC color code system. Most diamond painting companies use this system. Um, and at the end of the color code list is where we're gonna see our special drill colors. So I'll take a look when we get in there and we'll find which one of the glimmer drills was sent as an AB by accident. And we'll talk about that too. So um, you can cut these out and use these sticker labels to either put on um, the baggies the diamonds came in, or I'm gonna take these and put these into, I'm gonna kit it up as, as we say, into storage containers, like a structured storage container like you know Harbor Freight or Elizabeth Ward or similar and I'll put the labels on those so um, we'll take a look at this after we look at the canvas let me let me show you some of the features of this canvas in case you are not familiar um, we have their enablers outpost logo up here at the top there is some wrinkling at the edges here but it's genuinely that's just not something I'm worried about I have worked on canvases with this material before it's kind of like a short lint soft lint that is going to lay flat it's going to be completely fine and I don't see any wrinkling at all on the uh, canvas where there's glue so I just am not fretting whatsoever about a little bit of wrinkling up at the top that is just sometimes something that happens with packaging and you saw how it was in the bag but I really think it's going to be no harm done. Uh, we do have a schematic and thumbnail at the top left here. This model number you'll, you'll see in a couple of places like the sticker on the box. Um, it was on that um, sticker paper and stuff. So um, just for matching things up if need be. We have our color list here with 29 colors. We have that same color list and schematic over here at the bottom right. And then at the bottom left, they do have the title and the artist's name again. And again, I feel like... If companies are licensing the artwork from the artist, you're going to see them bragging about it. Typically, you will see the artist's name listed and companies will be talking about it because they're wanting you to know that this is something that they do offer. Um, now, Enablers Outpost does have poured glue on their canvases. You can usually tell if there's a clear plastic cover like this one. And that is very sticky. So I don't think we're going to have to worry about diamonds falling off. Let's let me show you up close some of the printing on the canvas. This is printed very clearly. This does look like a slightly different, like a different canvas, maybe. It might be a different manufacturer. I think Enablers Outpost has talked about how they've been um, trying out some different manufacturers to make sure that they're getting, you know, the best product that kind of meets all the needs of their customers. And so this might be a slightly different canvas than the previous Colorful Cat Studio artwork that I completed from Enablers Outpost. But I like that the printing is really clear. Um, there is a good amount of confetti, especially in some of these, you know, detail areas. Confetti is where you have more color changes in a small area. This is probably a good example right here. Apologies if you can hear my neighbor's dog, by the way. Always gets a little chatty this time of night. Um, but yes, yeah, so confetti is when you have more color changes in a small area. You'll probably be doing some more single placing and changing the color in your tray out more often. This kit, though, also has a lot of what we call color blocking. This background here this is all the same color great chance to practice your multi-placing if you um, have been wanting an excuse to and a good opportunity to i am definitely going to try to multi-place my way through those backgrounds uh, the background and see if that can help it go pretty quickly you will find that kits that have a softer artwork style and especially like a watercolor renderings uh, or kind of watercolor art style are typically gonna have more confetti because that's how um, it's gonna translate that artwork into diamond painting form and give it that softer look instead of really like crisp, crisp lines. So um, I'm not surprised to see a good amount of confetti in this one. 
We're just doing a quick measurement. We're at, okay, 55 centimeters left to right. And then let's see, top to bottom here. 50 centimeters. So we are true to size. Not surprising to me at all. Typically enablers outpost kits are true to size. So we're gonna take a look at the diamonds and this paper that was included here and see what we're working with. Okay, so we have an inventory sheet here um, that has our colors again. And if you wanted to make bigger labels than what was included on this sticker sheet, you could cut this out and run this through a sticker maker. There's one that I use often that's um, the Zyron brand is an X Y R O N. It's the Zyron X 150 sticker maker. You can get it for really inexpensive on Amazon and you can feed just regular paper through it and it kind of turns it into sticker paper. So that is an option. There's the original artwork again. And it tells us again, the color code and then the number that has bags here. I don't know if that'll be the weight maybe. So let's take a look at the colors. Um, let's see what we have right off the bat. Uh, this is, this is our background color. Okay, I was confused for a second. I was like, shimmer drills. No, 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 it's just saying that that's the kit this goes with. Okay, I was like, these don't look like shimmer drills. No, no, no. Okay, so let me explain really quickly. So this is of course that background color. As far as what we're looking at here, this top part, that is not saying that these are shimmer drills. It is just part of the title of the kit. Then if we look down here, 24, that is the kind of legend number. And then 5200, that's the DMC code, which you see here. And then 99.7 grams, that is the weight. So that of course is the bag that we have the most of because that is our whole background. And these are square drills. Taking a look and seeing. Yeah, okay. And then I bought some of these colors to share with you. I'll just pull all of them. Naturally, this is gonna have lots of shades of, oops, blues and grays. That's some pretty aqua sometimes. And these are in order in the package, roughly. So I'm just pulling them out and they're just gonna be out of order. <laughs> I actually remember this kind of color from my last Colorful Cat Studios kit. So all of these different shades of blue and grayish in some cases, um, and white and whatnot, this is, okay, my cat is losing his mind. It's, you know, it's just the animals are, are needing their moment tonight. <laughs> Giving serious main character energy here. Okay, um, was I saying? Um, oh, so all these different like slight variations in the shades of these colors, um, that is just going to help give us some nice blending and give us that kind of softer effect. Now I am noticing that these have like the little pokes on the bottom and from what I can see from the edges, uh, these look like they might be acrylic square drills, but I like, I'm, I've been taking a close look at them as we go through them and they look pretty consistent in size and shape just at first glance. And so I'm hopeful that that does mean that these, these will be good acrylic drills and are going to, you know, lay nicely and, you know, neatly together on the canvas. So we hopefully will not have to worry about any popping or whatnot. So moving on to our special drills, which are all here at the end. So it looks like this color, the 5200Z, this was initially, well, this was intended to and is listed as being, it was supposed to be a shimmer drill. And this is definitely a white AB color. You know what? Artwork like this, depending on where this is charted, I might actually love the white AB. <laughs> um, but I know, like I said, and I, Enablers Outpost confirmed this with me and wanted me to share with you guys too, that you know, if you want to get this symbol and this color as the glimmer drills instead, which here, let me show you. Um, glimmer, you can see that kind of fine glitter coating on the tops of these. I'll give, I'll talk, we'll talk about more about those in a second. But if you want the, a white glimmer drill instead, you can contact Enablers Outpost with your order number and they can send those out to you. But you know what, a unicorn and white ABs, that actually could look really pretty. We're gonna take a look at the canvas together in just a moment and I'm gonna point out where these different special drill colors are gonna be found. But then these are our, like I said, our shimmer or glimmer drills. And you can see, let me zoom you in. All right, so these diamonds have this glit fine glitter coating on the top. 
it's very, very subtle and it's going to give it a more of a shimmery effect as opposed to like the ABs, which are much more bold and eye catching. This is more of a, you see that little subtle shimmery color shift look. Love it. So we have these three shades of blue and then this kind of pale yellow and then we have the white AB. Okay, let's take a look and see about finding where these different special drill colors are gonna go. So let me make sure I can easily tell the difference between the different blues in particular. And we are looking for letters R, S, T, U, and V. So I do see, let's see, V was this kind of more vibrant blue color. This shimmer drill is gonna be, you see this bright blue that's over here on the side? Up close, it's the letter V. That is that um, shimmer drill color. I don't think I see it anywhere else in the canvas, but that color really popped out nicely and easily. So that's that, this particular shade of blue. And then let's see, we're looking for U, R, and S. Okay. So the letter S was, was our pale yellow shimmer. There's like a dot of it right here. And there's some dots of it in the unicorn's horn here and here as well. So I think that, yeah, that pale yellow one is just sprinkled through some of the unicorn's horn. And then we have, let's see. I do see the letter U and that's gonna be our darker our darker blue shimmer drill. It's kind of here sprinkled in the background, the letter U. And okay, the letter R is the lightest blue shimmer drill. So there's like a dot of it there, a dot of it here. It's in some of these like lighter areas. The letter U, there's quite a lot of, this is the darker shimmer color. It's in here. Oh, and there's some of the light blue shimmer in there. The letter U, that's the dark blue shimmer. And then there's a big chunk of the light blue shimmer right there. And then the letter U, that's all the dark blue shimmer. Okay. And then I see some of the light blue shimmer and some of the unicorn's mane. So like right above the horn right here, it's kind of sprinkled in there. And a little bit down here, this is the light blue shimmer. Over here, I see little bits of it here and there and a little bit in here so again that's just there's a little bit like up here too that's that light blue shimmer is just it's in a few different spots just kind of give it a little bit of overall well shimmer <laughs> last but not least let's take a look at where we're going to find this white ab which could be a shimmer drill should you still uh, so choose so there is um if you're looking through the camera this big background color, that's our regular white color. And you see where the color shifts slightly? Right here, this chunk of white, it's a different shade of white. That is the white AB. It's all through here. There's a lot of it. That was a big bag of white ABs that we have. Um, it's the brightest white that you're seeing in camera. It's there, it's going around here. White ABs or shimmer here and here. Um, it's kind of highlighting through, I think, yeah, that's the unicorn's mane up here. And it just continues. A lot of this white throughout, there's a right here as well, there's quite a lot of that white AB. Then on the unicorn's face here, there's a lot of it here and throughout here as well. I'm torn, I'm torn. I think that that may look okay with the white AB, but I also kind of, like I could see maybe that being more suited to being the shimmer color. So letter T, all of this letter T is that white AB slash shimmer color. And see it's running like an outline as well. And some of these areas against that letter T is that color. So there's a lot of it, you guys. Um, it's sprinkled in some of these white spots over here too. So a lot of that particular color, which again, not surprising given that this is the size of bag that came with this. So this looks so pretty. 
And I, I was really happy with how my last Enablers Outpost kit from this artist came out. And so I'm really, really looking forward to seeing how this one is going to come together as well. If you are interested, I have completed a number of different kits from Enablers Outpost over the years. And I have done post review videos on like dedicated individual review videos on most, if not all of them, you will find those if you're interested to see completed kits to help you make your decision. Those linked below in the description, there may be some small changes depending on like if they've changed manufacturers since then. I also recommend joining in that case, their Facebook group, which is where people will often pro uh, post like whip pictures or completed pictures and whatnot. So that's also a good place to check for that as well as to stay up to date with with the latest shop news and releases and whatnot. Enablers Outpost also makes diamond painting pens. It's actually what they started out as a small shop doing. And I love, love, love their pens. And the owners of this shop are incredibly, incredibly kind. You're gonna get like top, top notch, fantastic customer service um, from this Fa very small family owned business. It's just the two of them that just have hearts of gold. And I feel so, so incredibly good about supporting this small business in our community. They are just absolute gems. So um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this unboxing and this gave you a nice look at this recent new release from Enablers Outpost. Again, this kit is called Veiled in Starlight and is by the artist Colorful Cat studios. Um, I, I love it. Please go and take a look at what Enablers Outpost has. They have that giant Dragon Seasons kit that I recently unboxed. If you're looking for an epic size project to work on seasonally throughout the year, if you like, they're doing a diamond paint along with that. Lots of really fun and really nice quality stuff going on over at Enablers Outpost. So I hope you guys will go take a look. Please let me know down in the comments. Have you worked on a kit from Enablers Outpost before? Have you picked up one of their new releases? And what do you think of this kit? What are your first impressions? Um, do you think that you would go with the white ABs that were sent by accident? Or you think do you think you would maybe reach out for the white shimmer drills instead? So um, I may try a little bit of both and see what I like the look of personally. I'm hoping I can maybe work on this one soon. So um, if you want to stay up to date with this project along with any other number of diamond painting projects that I have going, please feel free to subscribe and you can also hit the bell to be notified when I share new videos. Thank you so much for watching my friends. I hope this was helpful and that you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.